Have you surrendered all the kingdoms of your heart to Jesus? This Sunday, we are reminded that Jesus is the King of our hearts. You belong to the church and the church belongs to you. Without you, the church won't be complete. Welcome to the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. And the people stood by, watching. But the leader scoffed at him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, Truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And now it's time for our fun facts. Do you know what INRI means on the top of Jesus' crucifix? This comes from the first letters in the Latin inscription, Jesus Nazarenus Rex Uneorum. It translates to Jesus the Nazarene, King of the Jews. This is an abbreviation of Pilate's charge, and it was meant to be mocking. However, the fact is Jesus truly is our King, who came to save us from sin and death. He rules over us in love and mercy. Now it's time for a transfiguring discussion. What are the kingdoms of the of our hearts that we need to surrender to Jesus so that He becomes the king of our hearts? Question mark. Thanks for watching. See you all next week. Please consider subscribing to our channel. God loves you, and He has an eternal plan for you and your family.